Hello everyone, my name is Peter Chen um, in the Department of Geography at University of Connecticut. And today we are going to talk about a map styling or symbology. So before that, let's load our data into QGIS. So now I have loaded the data sets uh, into uh, QGIS. These two data include the interstates as well as the US states. So first, let's categorize the interstates. If you right click the layer of interstates and open the attribute table, you can see the properties of the roads. And we're going to be focused on only one of the fields, which is called class. So for this class field, this is a categorization based on the route type code or RTTYP given by the US Census Bureau. And there are six different codes uh, in this table. C, I, M, O, S, and U. So we're going to be focused on only two of the codes, which is I, interstate, and U, US highway. So, uh, let's close the attribute table in order to symbolize or categorize the interstates with different style we need to bring up the properties first so right click the interstates and choose properties so for styling we choose this symbology tab or panel and now the map uses a single symbol, which means every feature has the same style, which is this brown color. So in order to categorize, in order to categorize um, the interstates, we choose uh, categorized instead of symbol, sing, single symbol. The first is called column. So this is uh, the field, uh, the field that you want to uh, change, which is class in our case. Second, uh, once you have the class uh, set up, click on the classify and uh, all the fields under this field class or all the values will, uh, will display uh, underneath. Since we are going to be focused on only I and U, we will just uncheck the rest of the values and having only I and U um, in the window. And then you want to uh, specify how they look uh, in the map. So double click this symbol for I, and then you can change the color. For example, if you prefer a red color, you can change it to red and OK. And then you want to make sure this is bolder. So for example, change it to 0.5 instead of 0.26 and OK. And then let's change this for the US highways. So similarly, click on the symbol and then you can choose another color. For example, orange. And then change the width or just keep it as, as it is. And okay, then you will have a, a different color and width for the United uh, high, US highway. And the, the legend means uh, how they will look in the legend section on the map. So you can change them to make sure they are easy to, easy to understand. For example, you can change this I into interstate. And normally I do not use plural form for the legend. The same as US highway, double click, and US highway. So after you are done with everything, just press OK. Let's change the uh, style of the US states according to their population. And this is very similar to the interstates, and but there's only one slight difference. So right-click the US states, 
and choose properties. And if you notice that uh, the property tables uh, pop up. And the same as the interstates, we are going to look at the symbology tab. And because the population is a numerical field, uh, it's not categorical as interstates, so we are going to use a different symbology, which is called the graduated or graduated colors. So let's switch to graduated, and then we choose um, population 2000. And after that, um, you can choose a mode, which is how the, the, the colors or the numbers will be classified. So there are many modes to choose from, such as equal interval, quantile, natural breaks, standard deviation, and uh, there's one which is not available in ArcGIS, and this is a unique feature of QGIS called the pretty breaks. So if you choose that, all the values will be uh, broken into rounded numbers. So once you have uh, set up the mode, you can see all these numbers uh, will be rounded. Uh, in the value section. And let's change the color uh, to reflect how they will look on the map. And this is called the color ramp. Uh, under the drop down, there are different uh, styles. And of course, there are more to choose from under all color ramps. So, for example, I like this red color from the white to red with a yellow uh, in the transition. So this dark red represents a large population and uh, the white yellowish uh, color represents the small population. And uh, of course, you don't have to, you don't want to see many zeros appear uh, in your legend. So let's simplify it. For this one, I'm going to change it to under five, representing under five million. I'm overlooking that million because you can insert a tag in your legend section uh, called um, in million. So which means you know everything will be in million. Every num every number will be in million, and this simplify your legend to some extent and make it more professional. So let me change all these numbers into uh, an easier to read style. And the last one would be above 30. Once you are done, press OK. And you will notice that on the map, the color uh, will be changed uh, corresponding to what you have done in the symbology panel. Once you are done with the styling, you want to export it as a map with necessary map elements such as North Arrow, Scale Bar, Map Title, a Source, etc. In order to do that, you need to go to Project, New Print Layout, where you can set up and add all those elements. So please refer to my other video about the print layout and export the map.